Parshat Vayishlach. Yaakov has not been home to see his father and his family in more than 20 years. He's a little bit more than nervous about confronting his brother Asaph because 20 years before the last time he saw his brother, he wanted to kill him. Yaakov had tricked his father into giving him the brachot that his father had intended to give Asaph. Yaakov is coming back with 11 sons, with a daughter, with a whole family, flocks and sheep, and he hears his brother Asaph is coming and approaching him. Yaakov prepares, he sends gifts ahead, he prays, he splits the camp strategically, preparing for any eventuality. The night before the confrontation, Yaakov's whole family crosses the Yabok stream. Yaakov goes back across to go and take some little jars and vessels across with his family. There he encounters a stranger, turns out to be Asav's archangel. He wrestles with that stranger all night. Come sunrise, the angel needs to run back and sing its praises to Hashem like all angels do. And the angel says, Yaakov, let me go. Yaakov says, not a chance. The angel strikes him on the thigh on his sciatica nerve. Yaakov limped for the rest of his life. Yaakov says, I'm not going to let you go until you give me a blessing. And he said, the angel replied, no longer will your name just be called Yaakov, you will now be called Yisrael. The very first time Israel, Yisrael, appears in the whole Torah. It changed the pivot point for our history. From that moment onwards, we were known as Bnei Yisrael, the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of Yaakov, now known as Yisrael. Yisrael is a name of power, a name of victory, because he was victorious both over Esav and over an angel. What was his secret of success? Yaakov took his father's teachings with him for 20 years in the land of Haran, despite it being a very foreign, secular antithesis of Judaism and Jewish identity environment. He stayed strong and true and brought up his family with a powerful Jewish identity and a set of Jewish values. That's what keeps us through. That's what empowers us to be Israel. That's the next link in the chain of B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel.